What is up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keepstar. Let's go right into the news. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Listen, uh, I'm going to have a heart-to-heart with Mr. Jake Paul later in this video. But first, let's get to some other news. Today, FaZe Banks tweeted out, You're a fucking pussy, at Jake Paul. Now listen, I know exactly what this is about, but it's not my place to tell you, at least right now. Tomorrow, we should have more on what's going on between FaZe Banks and Jake Paul. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe with those notifications on. Also in the news, Logan Paul. We report it here that YouTube temporarily disabled Logan Paul's ads. However, yesterday it appeared that Logan Paul's ads have been returned. And not just ads, but premium ads like McDonald's. I tweeted out breaking YouTube has restored ads on Logan Paul based on our calculations he was banned from ads for 72 hours. Now here's the interesting thing. After I tweeted this out, mysteriously all the ads disappeared from Logan Paul's channel. Me and the news team double checked right before I filmed this and now there is no ads on his channel once again. So it's unclear how long this ban is for Logan Paul's channel. Also in the news, Markiplier took a pickle in the eye. That's not a sexual joke. He actually took a pickle in the eye. He tweeted out, it was not a self-inflicting pickling. And what do you guys think of my Jacksepticeye cosplay? Uh, I'm waiting to find out more details on this because like, how the fuck do you take a pickle to the eye and end up in the ER? Like, it's going to be interesting to hear how this all played out. Also in the news, we told you that Casey Neistat it was doing an interview with one of the top executives here at YouTube. And today, that interview dropped on his channel, interviewing the head of YouTube business. And honestly, guys, uh, no offense to Casey Neistat, but there wasn't really any new information in this interview. YouTube basically said that they care and they're trying to make stuff better and that's that's pretty much it this has caused some other reporters to talk shit about casey neistat bryant from gizmodo put out an article saying casey neistat should stick to marketing <laughs> Casey Neistat responded on Twitter by saying this hey Bryant you're a snarky petty piece of shit but you do bring up some valid points and your suggested questions were way better than mine Totally serious. Help me with my next interview. Ah, it looks like Casey Neistat might get another interview with YouTube. I started thinking about this. If I interviewed one of the top executives of uh, YouTube, what would I ask them? And quite frankly, I, I don't even know. I feel like YouTube is at a good place right now. I know that might cause people to freak out, but for me and my channel and my perspective, Things are pretty damn good. 2017 was like a horrible year on YouTube. Lots of fuck ups, the adpocalypse, all that stuff. But right now, things seem to be pretty good from my perspective, from my perspective. Also in the news, Jack Jones. Uh, if you haven't heard of this YouTuber, well, it's because he's kind of irrelevant. Jack Jones is a YouTuber with 200,000 subscribers. And well, he makes like really bad videos. Like they're, they're just bad. His newest video is Meet My Dad. Apparently the joke is that his dad is black or something. You can tell by the like slash dislike bar, well, it's it's just, it's just bad. Jack Jones has never done anything to me, so I feel bad shitting on him, but like his content is just not good. It's not good at all. Over the weekend, he proved that he's incredibly unfunny by releasing this Twitter video. Roll it. Excuse me, excuse me. Is there, is there any chance you want to come on a date with me? Oh, dude, come on. Come on, please. The sexy young man. Oh, shit, oh, cheers, man. I appreciate uh, that. Is it, you want to come on a date? Uh, oh, is this your girlfriend? No, well, no. Oh, is it yours? It's a bit awkward. Sorry. Any, can I go on a date with any of you guys? Oh, it's not very funny. Pardon? It's not very funny. Okay. All right. See you later, anyway, guys. Bye. <laughs> it's so cringeworthy. It's so bad. Now, come to find out the fat kid of the video. I Maybe I shouldn't call him fat, but whatever. He's a pretty cool kid. I've been DMing him on Twitter. He uploaded a response to this titled, How Jack Jones Tried to Harass Me. The kid's actually pretty funny, and he only has 169 subscribers. So, uh, 
Maybe a few of you should go over there and sub to him. Just uh, a big fuck you to Jack Jones. And now for our final story, the boxing match. KSI uploaded a video today titled Final Decision on Jake and Logan Paul. And well, KSI had this to say. Roll it. Fuck him. Yep, I said it. I'm done. I'm done playing their games. I'm sick and tired of it. Jake Paul is literally using this hype and creating terrible videos from it. Bruh. Plus, he's a liar. He says no one cares about boxing. Boxing isn't a real sport. Boxing is soft. No one cares about boxing. Everyone would rather see an MMA fight. That is a real fight. Not boxing you, KSI. Why would I box you? It doesn't show who's a better fighter. But then, he says this literally a few weeks before my fight. There should be an influencer boxing like league. Like just YouTubers, Instagram people, Hey, celebrities too. Everyone just fights. Like, as Keemstar said, it's just embarrassing. Yeah, guys, it's kind of a shame that this is not going to happen, and I want to have a heart-to-heart -heart with Jake Paul, but before I do, let's finish KSI's video. At the end, he says other YouTubers have called him out, and he's going to open it up to other YouTubers. Roll it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm officially done with the Paul brothers. So far, Vitali, Furious Pete, JMX, Adam Sala, and pretty much FusiTube have called me out. So I thought instead of me picking who I fight next, why don't I let the people decide? So hear me out. I'm gonna give it a few more days so that if any other YouTuber wants to challenge me to a boxing match, they can easily make their video and call me out before I make a decision. After a few days, I will mention in another video all the opponents I could be facing. And then a poll will be made of said YouTubers. And then, after that, ladies and gentlemen, you get to decide who I fight next. Alright, it's time for a heart to heart with Mr. Jake Paul. Jake, I know you're watching. You watch every drama alert. Bro, dude, you're you're fucking up bad. All right? Like listen, the whole community wants to see KSI versus Jake Paul. This is what we want to see. And you're like letting this opportunity just go. Maybe you are a pussy and maybe you're afraid of losing, but here's the thing, Jake, if you just fight KSI even if you lose, you win. The community, including myself, will give you so much respect for just doing this, just, just competing in something like this, putting your reputation and everything on the line like that. When Joe Weller lost the fight, he got some memes, he got some jokes, but at the end of the day, everyone respects him for actually doing it, for actually getting in the ring for our entertainment. Jake, if you box KSI, this will be the biggest live stream event in the history of the world. There will be at least 5 million people concurrently watching this live. Maybe more. Jake, you and KSI will be the center of attention for the whole globe. Like this will be the biggest thing in the history of online entertainment. And you're just going to let this opportunity get away like this? Like, I don't get it, Jake. I get that you might be afraid that you will lose, but... Don't you think KSI is afraid that he's going to lose as well? I mean, it's just natural if you enter into a competition like this to have some doubts, to have some fear. But you're missing the overall opportunity that an event like this can do for you. And not just for you, but for the whole community. Everybody wants to see this fight. This is like McGregor versus Mayweather. Like, this thing is huge. This is what the people want. And not only that, Jake, there's a chance you could win. There's a chance you could beat KSI, and if you did, you would get respect worldwide for that. Jake, listen to me. Do not let this opportunity get away. This would be the biggest thing that has ever happened in your career and in YouTube history. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the news. Guys, if you want to see this fight, Jake Paul, KSI, slap a like on the video. If you are new here and you want to keep up to date with all the news going on in the community, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Drop Alert Nation now over 3,400,000 subscribers. You said you wanted to call someone out. Oh. Well, well. <laughs> oh, wait, see, man's got this belt right now. If any YouTuber wants it, you can come get it. Jake Paul! Jake Paul! Logan Paul, any of the Pauls, I don't care. Bring it. Same. Yo, if any celebrity wants it, yo, where's Rio?